spend this lesson introducing you to some of the advanced video creation and editing techniques that After Effects offers. As with most effects in animation and After Effects, mastering these techniques takes time and practice. However, the time and practice is not necessarily a reflection on the level of difficulty. Instead, it's learning how to achieve the look that you want. In this lesson, we'll cover how to use the 3D camera tracker, stabilize footage that is shaky or jittery, use single point motion tracking, create a particle effect, and create a slow motion effect. You'll notice that After Effects looks different, and that's because I had to update it. Adobe comes out with updates fairly frequently. You'll probably find it beneficial to keep your Adobe programs updated. They're always trying to make things easier. The 3D camera tracker effect lets you take 2D footage that you import and add 3D layers to it. For example, you might have footage of a drive you took down a country road. You can add 3D text to that footage that labels the roads by name. This text will look like it's sitting on the road. To use the 3D camera tracker effect, start by importing 2D video into your project, then adding it to your composition. We'll be using Lesson 11 Asset 1. Click the audio icon in the timeline panel beside your footage to mute the sound. Next, select the layer and then right click on it. Choose Track Camera from the context menu. The Effects Control panel will open. Place a check mark beside Detailed Analysis and choose Typical. After Effects will analyze your footage for you. You'll see a message in the composition panel. Once it completes the analysis, it'll provide tracking points in the composition panel. These tracking points are different sizes. The size of the tracking point will tell you the proximity to the virtual camera. Larger tracking points are closer. Depending on your computer and the length of the video, this process could take a while. If After Effects can't solve the camera, go to the Effects Control Panel after it's finished analyzing the footage and try the different solve methods. Go to the Composition Panel and hover your mouse between tracking points. As you can see, they look like X's. When you do this, you'll see a semi-transparent triangle along with a red target. Choose Set Ground Plane and Origin. Now we need to add text and a 3D camera to our scene. Right click on that same point and then select Create Text and Camera. Now look at the Timeline panel. You'll notice that two layers have been added. You'll see a text layer and a 3D tracker camera layer. Double click on the text layer. The character and paragraph panels will open. Type your text and format it. Go back to the Timeline panel and press R to see the rotation properties. Change the orientation values to make the text match the angle of the road. In this section, we're going to make our text look more realistic by adding a shadow to our text. Select your video in the Timeline panel, then select the 3D Camera Tracker effect in the Project panel. Click on the Selection tool in the Tools panel and then locate the same plane again. Right-click and then select Create Shadow Catcher and Light. You now have a new Light Layer and Shadow Catcher Layer in the Timeline panel. If your text looks black at this point, don't worry. We're going to add Ambient Light to fix it. Go to Layer, New, Light. Select Ambient from the Light Type menu, and then choose a color and value for the intensity. We're going to set the intensity to 80%. Then click OK. To adjust the depth of field for your 3D camera, select the 3D Tracker Camera layer in the Timeline panel. Then go to Layer, Camera Settings. You'll then see the Camera Settings dialog box. Put a check mark beside Enable Depth of Field. You can also set the focus distance, then change the f-stop value and focal length. Click OK when you're finished and then go back to the Timeline panel. Select all the layers except any audio layers. Enable Motion Blur and then click on the Motion Blur switch for one layer. It should apply itself to all the other layers. If you've ever used a handheld camera to shoot video, then you know firsthand how shaky the footage can be when you play it back. The good news is After Effects offers an editing tool that will help you fix that problem. Warp Stabilizer VFX removes those jitters to make the motion in the video appear smooth. It does this by scaling the layer to offset the movement. 
to use Warp Stabilizer VFX, select the layer that you want to apply it to, and then go to Animation Warp Stabilizer VFX. You'll see a banner appear across the footage in the Composition panel, just as you did with the 3D Camera Tracker. Once it's finished analyzing your footage, it will then stabilize the jitters. When the orange banner disappears, you can create a RAM preview to see the changes. Then you can adjust the settings for the Warp Stabilizer VFX in the Effects Control panel. Motion tracking gives you a way to synchronize background layers with computer-generated effects. With single-point motion tracking, you can track a defined area in the shot, then take that movement and apply it to other layers. To use single-point motion tracking, select a video layer in the Timeline panel, then go to Animation Track Motion. You'll see a tracking point appear in your composition in the Layer panel. You'll also see the Tracker panel open. Click on the Selection tool in the Tools panel, and then drag the track point on your composition to the portion of the layer that you want to track. The track point has three regions, the inner box or feature region, the outer box or search region, and the attach point which is the plus sign. The feature region defines the element that is to be tracked, the search region lets After Effects know what area to search to locate the element, and the attach point lets After Effects know the place of attachment for the target that is to be tracked. Once you have everything in place, click on the Analyze Forward button located in the Tracker panel. After Effects then performs an analysis of the footage. During the analysis, make sure the track point stays with the element you want to track. If it doesn't, then press the spacebar and relocate the feature region. Click the Apply button once After Effects is finished with its analysis. You can also use multi-point motion tracking, which tracks either three or four points in the source footage. To begin to use multi-point motion tracking, go to the Tracker panel and choose either Perspective Corner Pin or Parallel Corner Pin from the Track Type menu. The Particle Systems 2 effect can create something that looks like a supernova or even fireworks in your composition. To see how it works, create a solid layer by going to Layer, New, Solid. Make the layer color black and then click OK. Next, go to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle Systems 2. You won't see anything in the Composition panel until you press the spacebar. When you press the spacebar, watch the show before your eyes. To customize the effects, go to the Effects Control Panel. In the Physics Property group, you can change the Gravity property to change how the particles fall. In the Particle Property group, you can change the size and appearance. Experiment with the effect using the Effects Control Panel. The best way to learn what each effect can do in After Effects is to take the time to practice using them. The Time Warp effect lets you apply a slow motion effect to a layer. To see how it works, import Lesson 11 Asset 1 again and select that layer, then go to Effect, Time, Time Warp. In the Effects Control panel, go to the Method menu and select Pixel Motion. From the Adjust Time By menu, select Speed. Speed controls the time by a percentage. For example, move the playhead in the Timeline panel to where you want the speed to change. Change the speed to 100. Then click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. This tells After Effects to set the speed to 100% until it reaches that keyframe. Then move the playhead up by a few seconds. Change the speed to 10. Another keyframe is added that lets After Effects know to set the speed to 10%. Move the playhead forward again, and then set the speed to 100%. You've just created a slow motion effect. 